Hi guys, we are glad to see Hi. you on our channel. Today, here are Vicky, Nick, and I. We decided to do a challenge for you called Who can paint a chocolate picture better? Not only a chocolate picture, but the paints are also made of chocolate. We will have the same sets with white chocolate with a black border. We will decorate them with these chocolate paints. There's already a brush in the set and we will probably try our best. Well, to try harder, I suggest to chip in. Chip in what? What? Money? I suggest us chip in each round. And as a result, the winner will get the entire bank. Well, since I graduated from two art schools, I will chip in and I suggest 20 euro bet. Why is it so much? I don't want to give you 20 euro. I want to get a lot of money, so 20 is good. I believe in myself too, so I know I will get my money back. Money! And so we're gonna add it at the end of each round. And then the winner will take all of it. Listen, how are we going to determine whose drawing is the best? Our expert will probably do that. Yeah, yeah, chocolate expert is me. And we have the first round. The rules are quite simple. We have the same three sets of these with colored chocolate paints inside. We will put them in this hot water to melt all the paints. There are brushes that we will use to collect paint and color the drawing on white chocolate. And there are these saucers that will serve as a palette. So, if we want to make a different color, we can mix two or even all three colors at once and get a new one. So, are we getting started? Let's melt the paint! Are you sure we can do this? I have to put them in there, right? Like this? Oh, come on, Vic. You go first. I if you hope mess it, it up, we'll float. see. No, it doesn't. Let's put everything together so that it takes less time. Oh, it's they okay. They don't fit here. Oh, come on. Why do we even need this ugly brown color? Now, we have to wait for these paints to melt. And we will start coloring our beautiful paintings. We waited a bit and our paints are already melted. And now, we can finally start painting the car. I want to mix brown and yellow. I'm wondering what color it will be. Well, it's a light brown. And we'll see that. Maybe it works with ordinary paints, but this is a chocolate. Then I will mix green and these orange yellow. And then I won't mix anything at all. I'll make the car yellow like the bumblebee. I'm almost done, but I don't like the color so far. So I will add this yellow more. While they're mixing their paints, I've already started coloring my bumblebee. Yeah, honestly, the color is so-so. Yeah, mine is the same. No way, girls. You wanted to mix a bomb color, didn't you? Well, I think you can color the car in brown. Well, or do it all very careful. So that we don't cool down the paint as it already happened with me. We decided to put a candle there so that the water was always hot and the paint was always melted. In fact, it's very difficult to paint with these chocolate colors because they dry out almost immediately. And the layers look ugly. So as I'm speaking, I have everything cooled down again. Wow, Sue, what's wrong with your car? It looks like it was riding on a dirt road. Listen, sorry, but yours looks like someone threw up on it. What? Guys, look at the pretty car I have. Here, I'll have greens, some grass, and look at Sue's car. Nick, watch your own chocolate. I will have multicolored car, where I have yellow, and here I'm going to have green. Look, it's turning out pretty. I have to get all the money, for sure. While the girls focus on the car, I paint the whole picture. Here, I already have grass. Now I'm gonna paint the road brown. And I'll just get an awesome picture. 
Look guys, I'm making a real road with markings. However, my car is not moving on it, but it's just because the road is narrow. Vic, why do you paint over the grill? It's supposed to suck in air. It is somehow necessary for the engine. I'm an artist. This is my vision. Girls and cars are incompatible. And we have finished coloring our pictures. Now we will pass them to our expert, and of course, I will win. I will take this appealing money. No, I will win. Look what a colorful and pretty car I have. It's yellow, green, and I even managed to draw grass, so I will win. Well, you must understand that y'all lost, and not even worthy of a second place. Look at my stunning picture. What? It's all painted. There's the sun, the grass, it has everything. We'll see what the expert says. I see chocolate paintings painted with chocolate colors for the first time in my life. And now I have to evaluate them and to understand which of them is the most beautiful. Let's start in order. I see a car that was once light. Its roof shows that it's lighter than the rest of the car. The rest of the car's body plunged into the mud. No? Of course. I understand that sometimes roads aren't roads but directions. It was obviously driving through some ditches. Weird coloring at the bottom. It confirms that the car has just drove out of a hole and therefore it is so dirty. Well, I think it was necessary to send the car to the car wash first and then present it to the expert. Therefore, we will immediately put it away. Now let's take two of these paintings. Tell me honestly, which one do you like best? This one? You know, it was painted with a spray gun without sealing the places that don't need to be painted. Why is the grill painted over? You see, the paint is layered here and with the same color as here. I guess, this is a hint of grass. Was this car lying in the grass? That one is in the mud and this one is in the grass? Now let's look at this picture. Yellow bumblebee, neatly painted, rides on a neat asphalt road. Even the markings are there. Grass is green, the sun is shining. Please note this, Car's eyes are colored wonderful. The picture is beautifully colored, very neat, and this one wins. Hooray! My painting won. To be honest, I knew it because, uh, well, objectively I have the best painting. I thought I was going to win because Nick, ugh, he has a kindergarten drawing. The sun in the corner. Mine is absolutely pretty. It's even two color. No one has it. Honestly, I don't understand our expert at all. But I really hope that in the next round, I will win. So let's move on to the next round as soon as possible. We have the second round. This time, we have these cute butterflies. We have completely new colors. Yellow is brighter. There's no brown, but there's pink here. Well, the same green. We will melt these paints again. I think it will be interesting to color a butterfly like this. I really like this bright, bright yellow color. I think I'll do the whole butterfly in this color. I don't think I have as many advantages now as I had over the car. But I'll do my best, because there's the money. It's not yours! The winner of the challenge will take it! By the way, money we haven't chipped in yet. I have. I only have downfalls with you. We put 60 more euro in our bank. So we already have 120 euro here. Let's put our paints in water to melt them. And wait a little while. Our chocolate paints have already melted. And we're ready to color the butterfly. So let's hurry up and start. I take my favorite yellow color. Look how bright it is. I took green color and I will make the body first. Man, I wanted the green one too. I already took the paint. I wanted to make a body first, but uh, well, okay, I'll have a green body. Monkey see, monkey do. I decided to start with the patterns. They're gonna be of bright yellow color. So I've already finished drawing my butterfly. It seems that it turned out very cool. Non-standard, semi-transparent, and the girls have just started. Vicky, don't you think that Nick has a very ugly butterfly? He approached the question without originality. Simply. 
and he did it all somehow quick and dirty, just smeared somehow. A very strange butterfly in two colors. But Sue and I are trying to draw every pattern, every wing. Here, look what a beautiful work I have already. And it's very, very careful and I hope that in this round, I will definitely win. My work is also very beautiful. Well, in any case, it's clearly better than Nick's. Any work will be better than Nick's. That's right. In the end, they said that I have no imagination, and I paint everything on the cells, which they have already drawn for me. And while you were coloring for a long time, your chocolate, your butterfly, will melt and fly away from you. Nothing will melt, and everything will be very beautiful. Oh, now I have to wait for them half an hour. Man, by the time these paint butterflies on the cell, I'm gonna die here. But you did everything in five minutes and you sit now and rest, and Vicky and I are trying. We work tirelessly. Work, work. 120 euros will be mine. You wait, wait, we'll have more rounds. While they're coloring, I'll give you a task. Think about it and say, should chocolate melt in your hands or stay in your mouth? I'll tell you the correct answer at the end of the video. I've already finished my butterfly too, and while Nick and I are waiting for Vicky, I decided to eat some of this chocolate. At least leave me a little, because I still need to finish drawing. Mmm, it's so delicious, awesome. You draw, draw. Man, I wanna try it too. Tell me, it's delicious. Mm, this is the first chocolate I've ever tasted in my life. It's really delicious. What am I talking about? We have finally finished coloring our butterflies and we'll now send them to our expert. Oh, butterflies, spring is coming. What did they paint here, eh? Let's start with the worst job. It is definitely the worst, because here, it feels like a butterfly got caught in a multicolored web. Yellow and green and it was wrapped. Not even a web, but you know, a film. It can't fly, poor thing. And now these two butterflies, normal butterflies, they have multicolored wings with Different colored spots, but you must agree that this butterfly is painted neatly, beautifully, symmetrically. But this is some kind of daub. Here the wing is yellow, here it is pink. Plus, it's also sloppy. So definitely, just without any doubt, the victory belongs to the author of this butterfly. Who I wonder painted like this. Probably Nick, right? And I won this round! Look what a beautiful butterfly I have! How neat it is! A well-deserved victory! Well man, I don't think my butterfly is any worse. Look how beautiful it is! It's also colored very neatly, I think. Well, I think you could have been more careful. Well, if the expert understood how long they painted their butterflies, the win 100% would have gone to my piggy bank. You should have kept your mouth shut. Look at your sloppy butterfly! Let's move on to the next round! And the third round! This time, we have such beautiful mice! And to be honest, it seems to me that this is the most complex drawing we had before. Because there are a lot of small details here. Our paint is exactly the same. It is already melting, by the way. I suggest we chip in again. Man, I only have 10 euro left. Let's just throw in 10 euro. Of course, then there will be less money in the bank. I still want to win, but... Alright, so be it. Let's throw in 10 euro okay, each. Okay, let's throw in 10 euro each. And the bank has 150 euro. That's what we should definitely fight for. And I will try to do just the most beautiful work. I will try my best because I am very far behind the guys. Your chances of winning are zero. Because Nick has won, you have zero, and I have won. And you know... One of us has to win to get 150 euro. So what? I still need to try. I still want to win. Let's get started. Moreover, the paint we have just melted. My hands are itching so much, so I'd rather take a color. I thought you already wanted to fight. Well, I think the stars must be yellow. I also took the yellow color and will also make the stars. Since it was recently St. Valentine's Day, I will paint mine pink, because they are very much in love and they dance. Nick, you have such fantasy! Pink mice and they're dancing! On the other hand, 
We only have three colors. Which mouse should I make? Green or something? Only pink. It is the most natural color. And you can mix the colors and get some gray. It's a strange color. It's just like the mice. And you gave me an idea. Man, why did I share with the idea? Now I have less chance of winning. I want to mix green and pink to color the mouse's tie beautifully, but it doesn't work out beautifully. It turns out exactly the same green. Just a little lighter. I thought the chocolate paint would be mixed in exactly the same way as ordinary paint, but... But it turns out that this is not so. My mouse is already getting its pink hue. I still draw the stars. Look, they got pink fur. My mouse's girl's dress matches the color of the mouse boy's tie. If you understand what I said, then you're great. And if not, then you're great too. I'll make the mouse's dress yellow. I think it will be very beautiful. The color of the stars will be just right. And I will make the mouse's dress a beautiful pink color. While they were painting, I realized that I would finish my work quickly so I could eat the chocolate later. It was so delicious that I just couldn't tear myself away from it. But I still decided to try to mix green with pink to get some gray and color the mouse. Take more pink! It's already interesting what color it will be! I hope that I will get a more or less similar color to gray, because I don't want to leave the mice like this without color. Listen, do the opposite. Take a lot of pink and just a little green. It should be more gray. It's already freezing. I've been mixing him for a long time. Ah, it turns to butter. It's already gray. Well, now I don't know how to draw with it. Look at this. It's just a mass. You can draw with it, but you can eat it. Chocolate is very delicious. There. I think the color is already very similar to the color of gray mice. And I'll start painting their torsos. I don't understand why didn't any of my art schools teach drawing with chocolate? It would just be my favorite subject. Sue, can I use your paint? No, this is my idea, my paints, my mice, my idea. So I'll have white mice. Are there white mice or are they rats? I've already eaten so much chocolate while drawing and talking. Can you hurry up, please? Is it really bad for you to eat so much chocolate? Have you eaten too much chocolate yet? I don't Look, believe the it. the package is almost empty. We finished making our mice, and let's quickly call this uncool expert who for some reason always rejects my work. We have three wonderful pictures of mice. However, some mice are seriously spoiled by their authors who tried to color them, but they did not succeed. For example, this. What did they do with the mouse? Here it was dressed in some kind of gray hoodie. I don't know, a package? There's no other way to say it. And it, poor thing, doesn't know how to get rid of it. The second one, of course, was treated less harshly. There's only the dress, and it is colored in yellow. Very, very ugly. Let's look at the two remaining works. We have pink mice and white rats. In my opinion, in my expert opinion, pink mice are clearly losing out to white rats. Well, first of all, white rats are always so cute, always so wonderful. I love them. And secondly, look, the eyes and noses are beautifully drawn on the white rats. With these bead drops, just like real. I want to take them and squeeze them. Anyone who has rats at home will understand me. I award the victory to this work. And I won! Look what a great work I have. What cute mice, especially this one in the pink dress. It turns out that I take 150 euro. Ah! Man, I told you we had a lousy expert. I had the best mice. I even painted the boy gray. I left the girl white. They are so in contrast, so all beautiful. They are in love. Everything is fine. They look at the stars. That is all the expert. I think I just painted everything beautifully. I don't know what to say. She won. She took all the money. I lost. I had one victory left. I was ready to win and I really thought I opened my pocket and the money was going to fly in. But I lost. Well, don't worry. That's how I'll rub you, so that your tears will dry up sooner. Man, 
I'm so glad I won. I already know what I'm going to spend this money on. What will you spend it on? Ah, it's a secret. It's a secret. On gifts to friends? Or maybe yes, you can share a little with us. Well, we'll expect gifts from you, so be it. Guys, remember in the middle of the video, I asked you where chocolate melts in your hand or in your mouth? So chocolate melts in your hand and in your mouth because the human temperature is 36.6 .6, and the melting point of chocolate is only 25 degrees. Well, 30 maximum. But dark chocolate doesn't melt in your hands because it contains a lot of cocoa powder. Guys, if you like our videos, then you know that you need to make sure that the subscribe button is gray, not red. Well, you also need to watch the videos that will be everywhere, here. Well, we say goodbye to you until the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>